So, yeah, you know, Viking Season 1, Episode 3 review. Pretty much of this episode, you know, the Viking Ragnar Company are returning from their raiding of the monastery in Lindisfarne. Uh, Ragnar has a kind of brief conversation with both Rolo and I believe the monk's name is Athelstan. So with Rolo, he says, we finally did it, brother. And Rolo's like, yeah, you're right. Hopefully the Earl will see it that way. You know, so Ragnar then quickly, you know, detours towards Athelstan. And they have a brief conversation. He asks him, okay, what was the place we raided, was it England? And Athelstan's like, yes. And he Ragnar's so excited. And he was saying, you know, my name is Ragnar Lothbrook, what's yours? Athelstan tells him his name is Athelstan. And he was saying that, you know, if we're told in the Bible that this will happen to the followers of God for all the grievous sins that they committed, I mean committed, and that's why he's here. Ragnar corrects him. He's like, no, buddy. The reason why you are here is because I spared you, you know, from Rolo killing your ass over at the old monastery, you know. And then Athelstan asks him, okay, why did you spare me? And Ragnar thinks, like, I don't know yet, you know. So they're on their way. I think they're at this point they're pretty close to pretty much near damn near, you know, Cadigate. So, you know, when that happens, you see this beautiful like wide shot, you know, of just the mountains and then steer just the mountains are just beautiful and the doves and all the shit and just the sky. It's like you're just hit to, you know, you're about to ascend into heaven, you know, I just thought it was so beautiful. So they make it there and everyone's getting off the boat. Eric Martin tells his wife uh, the tall dude, you know, you'll notice when you watch it. Yeah, Eric Martin knows his wife comes and he hugs her, telling her that, you know, we want you to land full, so full of rich riches and plunder, you know. And then you have everyone pretty much giving Ragnar all the praise, saying, we know where you went, Ragnar. Let it, not, let it be known that the West does exist, you know, and all that good stuff. And Rollo's just sitting there like butter. Rollo's like, damn, I thought we were equals, bro. Why are you getting all the attention? So... After that, Canute comes, you know, and tells Ragnar that he's summoned by the Earl, you know. So Ragnar and his cronies, they go meet up in the Great Hall. And the Earl, Earl Harris is wondering, how did you, of all people, was able to succeed where so many other men have failed? And Ragnar was like, we had Thor on our side, Lord. <laughs> and then the Earl was like, just chuckled, just like I did, like, yeah, all right. You know, so, and then Ragnar wanted the details saying, you know, the priests had no weapons. They were like babies, helpless. And that he, and that, you know, he heard that there's probably other temples and kingdoms and all this stuff. That would be rich for plundering. You know what I mean? Good for plundering. So, the Earl says, I hope you guys understand that since you guys disobeyed me, this is all for me. And that you guys are allowed to take one thing. And Ragnar kind of, play, kind of plays around with it. He gets, like, one thing on his head and starts to dance around. Then he decides, you know, to take Athelstan as, you know, as his gift. So after everybody leaves, Ragnar's pissed just like everyone else. He's kicking shit. And Rollo's like, why did you give up so easily? We earned that. You know, Ragnar's like saying, listen, man, don't be foolish. That was just another, that was just, like, a, a way, you know, for the Earl to kill us. Just in case we acted up. You know what I mean? He would have legitimate cause either way. You know what I mean? He was like saying like, you know what? This is the end, brother. This is only the beginning. You know? And Rolo's like, all right. And then Rolo, you know, reveals that Rolo took more than one thing of the, took more than one piece of the treasure of the loot they got. And Ryan out, grabbed by his throat and just pushed him against the wall saying, are you so fucking stupid? Why? Why did you do that? You know what I mean? And then Rolo's like saying that you got your Odin and I got mine. And Ryan was like, how about you go spend on all those whores? Hmm? Be useful and all that shit. Just smacks him a bit, you know. And then we go back to Ragnar's home. And he tells Lagatha that, you know what? The Earl took pretty much all of me loot, but I found it. You know what I mean? That's all that matters. So he tells the children that the priest, Athelstan, is a priest from the monastery. You know what I mean? And then the kids, and they, I think he also tells them that they can touch him, you know, if they want. So they're all touching him. And Gita, Ragnar's daughter, says, which god do you love most? And then Alston looks puzzled. He's like, 
There's only one God. And then you have like to look at Ragnar. You know, Ragnar kind of like has that, you know, <laughs> look in his eyes. So after that, like and Ragnar are just knocking boots. They're fucking so hard. You can hear <laughs> Alison trying to read the Bible and they're just making sense. Like the bed is all over, you know, and they sort of invite him, you know, to a threesome. Like they're showing Alliston, you know, that little leg action. And Alliston says no. You know, then after that, Alison, I, I swear to God, immediately just by Alliston's look on his face, he's like, fuck, why did I say no? God give me strength and all that shit, you know? So pretty much later on in the episode, you have um, the Earl's wife trying to reinforce the Earl that you are all powerful. See what you did? You took all their treasure just by will, you know, trying to stroke his ego even more and more and all that shit. Then they try to have a kiss scene, and for some reason, the dude can't go on with it, you know, and he has to be hugged by her. So, after that, you have Ragnar and Alistair getting drunk. Well, more, mainly more so Alistair. This dude clearly cannot handle, you know, his out. So, pretty much they're talking, and Ragnar says, I want you to teach me more about, you know, tell me more about England. So, in the conversation, Alistair tells him that England has four kingdoms and four kings. And that the kingdom that Ragnar and company raided was the kingdom of Northumbria. And that the kingdom of Northumbria's king is called King Ayla, a great king. <clears throat> so, pretty much, you know, they're talking about, you know, gold and silver. You know, Ragnar was wondering why did, you know, why did they leave gold and silver unprotected? You know, and I was telling them because, you know, gold and silver... You know, I mean, the monastery didn't need to be protected. It was a holy sanctuary in a way. And that Christians give their gold and silver away for, you know, to save their souls. And Ragnar asks him, what are their souls? And Alistair's puzzled. Alistair can't quite answer that. Had him stumped, you know, right off the bat. I was like, damn, what is their souls? So after that, Ragnar kind of takes Alistair with him to see the Earl and while on their way to see the Earl, they see um, Atherston's monasteric brothers pretty much hanged, beat up, and dead. So they go there. Ragnar tells the Earl pretty much that the monk told me that there's more kingdoms, all this stuff. La di da. There's more reiteration of what I said. A reader, more of what I said last time. I'm more in depth. And he's not a stupid man. And that we should go west. You should allow me to go west again. You know what I mean? To lead. And then the Earl's like, well, why can't I go? Reinhardt played the smart, you know, smart card saying, like, you know what? I know the West, the land's better than you, and why not lead to someone more expendable? <laughs> you know? So Earl agreed, but he had that little snitch dude, Canute, who snitched on Reinhardt earlier, you know, about them leaving, you know, um, to watch over Ragnar. So yeah, so there's this little quick scene. In which Alistair had enough of Ragnar tugging at his neck as a throw and as a slave. He's like, yo, just kill me, dude. I can't take this shit no more. Ragnar just cuts, you know, the rope. Then he says, stay if you want. And Alistair was smart. He looked around, see all them people not getting a fuck about them Christian monks. And he just went on ahead. So after that, Ragnar puts Athelstan in charge of his so of his farm and his and his kids. While he allowed his wife to come along with them. And like they left Alistair with one hell of a message. If anything happens to my kids, I will rip the lungs from your body and kill you. You know? So after that, you know, Canute has joined. Rolo kind of chokes him out a bit. Gives him a little bit of a lesson on loyalty and how you got to trust the man on each side of you. Because without any trust, everyone dies. You know? So, you know, pretty much. And in the episode, they make it to, once again, to Northumbria. And they have this little conversation with the Christian soldiers of King Ayla. And there was a misunderstanding in which it seemed like the Christian soldiers were being good-willed, but Rollo didn't trust them, and neither did Eric Martin. And Ryan's trying to ha trying to create some type of peace. But, you know, Floki fucks it all up when he grabs the dude's little Christ, I mean, cross. I mean, yeah, yeah, little Christ cross. And that's when everything went to town, and the Vikings killed all of them off, you know, and only one... I believe survived it. So yeah, that's pretty much my review for Viking season one, episode three. Thank you for watching. Adios.